Hey, what's up guys? James Fred with Daylight Media Concepts here with another tutorial for you. In this one guys, I'm just going to give some very basic video editing techniques. I will be using Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a very powerful program, but we're going to use it for its very simplistic ways today. Alright, so first what we have here is the program window all right this window is basically a preview screen this is where we'll be able to look at and see what we're doing down at the bottom here is the timeline this is where our clips will go this is where we'll be able to add effects and so on over here is the media browser this is where all the media will sit at video clips images music whatever it is you'll have in your video now up here in this window i just have some different things that i normally use when i edit videos uh, the metric color for me to do some color grading and effects panel, uh, some essential graphics if I want to do some motion, um, and the effects controls. All right. So let's get into it. All right. So I already have a folder pulled up, um, with some clips in it that we're going to use today. Very simple. All right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a clip and drop it into the timeline. Okay. Once I do that, then the program itself will do everything else that I needed to do. So here's the clip, okay? And as you can see, we have two separate tracks here. So what the software does is that it separates the video track from the audio. That way you can edit those separately if needed. So the software automatically does that for us, okay? All right, so basic editing, guys, is I know a lot of you, um, you know, when you're starting to stop in your videos, you know, you have to get up, cut your camera on, cut the phone on, or do whatever you have to do. Um, you want to cut those parts out because you want your videos to look as good as possible. You want your videos to be smooth, clean, and look, you know, the, whatever equipment you have, you want the best quality out of that equipment. All right, so what we have to do is we have to find a point in the clip where she begins to talk. And normally I do that, I can look down at the waveform down here and kind of get a clue. But all you have to do is start playing your clip and just kind of find out. So I know right about in here, she's getting ready to start talking. So in Premiere, if I go and put my mouse on the beginning of this clip, when it turns red like this, I can now click and drag it over to this line. And this is where this clip will now start to play it. All right. So uh, I always put uh, an intro in my uh, videos. So I've got the intro here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab it, drop it down into the timeline. See how it separated the video and the audio track? Let it go, and it's all there. Now I'm just going to grab the actual clip and slide it back right up against my uh, intro. So if we start the intro at around here and we play it, It goes right into the clip. Now, guys, in any video editing program, depending on the speed of your computer or laptop, there's going to be some lag when you're previewing, okay? Especially the more you add to it, the more effects, color grading or whatever, you know, it's going to be some lag to it. So I would suggest, you know, you get the, uh, uh, the fastest computer or laptop that you possibly can, all right? So now that we've got the intro into the clip, okay, um, we want to add uh, an out point. So this clip here is an incomplete clip because there's more to it. I just didn't put it in this for the sake of the tutorial. So, but normally what you would do is basically the same thing you did at the beginning is you want to find a stopping point. Now, like I say, with this clip, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to do the same thing. Grab the end, drag it to the blue line. Now, with my outros, it's nothing but the last portion of my intro. So I've just brought my intro into the timeline. I'm going to find the point where I want my outro to start. For me, if I have text in an, out, an outro that I'm doing for somebody, I normally do it right before the text start. So I found that point. Once again, put my cursor at the end of that clip. It turns red. Drag it over. And then I can just take and drag this up against uh, the clip. 
basic video editing. So all I've done is trimmed my clip and put an intro in and put an outro in. That is basic video editing, guys. Nothing hard about it. These simple little things here, okay, will have your videos looking a lot better. They'll be more clean. They'll give people uh, something that they want to look at because you got to remember in, in YouTube, we're not only just looking for people, you know, to subscribe to our channel, but we're also looking for people to watch the content. So if the videos are hard to watch because, you know, there's no clean transitions and, and there's just a bunch of stuff going on, then people won't watch. OK, so listen, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to do another one that's going to get into some more things. We'll start adding some transitions. We'll start putting some effects in, maybe some titles and some text. Um, but what I want you guys to do, man, is download this program. I'm going to leave the link to it in the description. I believe there's a trial um, that you can get. So there is a cost associated with Adobe Premiere, but trust me, it is worth it. If you are going to be doing this for the long run, this program is worth the investment. Because although you can do simple things with it, as you grow and as you learn, you can do a lot more advanced things. So why not go ahead and have the program up and running and ready to go? All right. So listen, like, comment, and subscribe on this video, man. Share it so some people can get some of this knowledge. And I will see you at the next one.